My name's Alan Hart and today I'm going to do a video on how to install PEX pipe. So in my day in the life as a plumber video I were installing some pipe work and there was a lot of questions on, on the pipe work and in the UK we call it MLCP so it's a multi-layer pipe and it's it, it's this pipe here so I'm going to I'm going to do some connections with that show you how to connect it show you the fittings and um, yeah just generally have a run through it really uh, one thing I will say if you're a plumber and you're shaking your head and thinking oh no you know we don't like this stuff well many years ago probably about eight or nine years ago I went to a job and it had this stuff installed and I didn't know what it was to be honest and as the years have gone by more and more systems now are done with this pipe so it is summer that you need to really really get your head round so PEX piping um, the MLCP PEX piping is the way forward really because and a lot of time now hot works is not allowed so in new builds and in commercial settings um, underfloor heating as well is normally MLCP um, PEX pipe as well um, so it's something you need to you know you need to know about at, at, at very least you need to be aware of it and how you can use it and connect onto it if you need to um, so I've got various fittings here so we'll, we'll have a little run through these now and then I'll show you the press gun I'll also show you the copper press gun as well um, obviously most of my jobs now I, I don't do soldering anymore I don't want to put any muck flux solder etc in the pipe so so I use press fit so I, I'll show you that as well but I'll show you that at the at the end of the video this is this is more to do with the the PEX piping this system that I've got here is the Blans, Bland Sol pipe which is uh, I don't know if I've got a little bit of a so that's if you can see I don't know if it'll show you it right way around or not but it's Bland Sol pipe and you can get this from you can buy this from James Hargreaves um, I know that you can get it from there so that that's what that's where I've got some of this stuff from um, so yeah so let's have a look at the fittings now if we have a look at the fittings that's how you would get the fitting and it has a stainless steel cover on there so that's your stainless steel cover that goes over top there and on the inside of it it would look like that these fittings the RAS approved the pipe the PEX piping is also RAS approved you can use this on secondary secondary hot water systems as well obviously you're not you're not able to do that with normal plastic pipe that's what the pipe looks like um, I'll just show you the rest of the fittings are first so you, you do have the fittings that you crimp on and obviously you have T's and reducing tees with normal reducers and elbows etc sockets as you do with all different types of plumbing systems there's also one of these it's like a compression fitting and these are these are like a, a kit so that if you haven't got your press gun and you've got a leak you can use these so you can obviously you can push it in that comes out of there you push your pipe into that clean your pipe up push your pipe into there and then you connect that in connect that in there and that'll tighten in as normal with an olive in um, let's just have a quick look at the pipe now so this pipe here, I've actually really gone to this uh, to I cut it up and got it. So you've got your pipe, and then you've got an aluminium layer in this pipe. I don't know if you can see it. And then you've got your pipe again. So it's this is a five five layer pipe. So it's really strong. I'll just show you some of the pipe now. Show you how you can bend it and stuff. You can buy this pipe in rolls or in lengths. So you can buy it in 2.5 meter lengths if you wanted to. You can also buy it in rolls, 50 meters and 100 meters, I believe. Um, this pipe is 16 mil. 
you can also get it in 20 mil 25 mil and 32 and if you want to bend it you can just bend it and it just just bend it to whatever you want and it just stays where you want so you you're probably not going to need that many bends and that many fittings really and obviously you can just put it on wherever you want straight and pipe up however you want as well what i'll do now is we'll, we'll do some we'll do some crimping onto it so we'll press some fittings onto this to put a fitting or to install a fitting onto this pipe first of all we need a clean edge we would we would want to cut that with some pipe cutters i've got some poly pipe cutters they're just my old ones you can also buy some ratchet style ones they may be better there's lots of brands of cutters i've no association with any brand at all the ratchet ones are probably better as as the try and try and have a sharp blade if you can but as they do wear a little bit obviously the ratchet ones will still cut through so with this what you want to do if you've got these type just cut it maybe twist it a little bit as you're doing it and then what you do is you just get a nice a nice flat edge and then you get a tool and you put that in the pipe and if you have a look on this tool might be a bit hard to see uh, but there's like a there's an edge there and it's like a little blade and as you put that in there what it does is it rounds the pipe but it also cuts I don't know if you can see there look some bits there so it's also cut it's cut a little a little slope inside there so that when you put your fitting on it'll go on easier obviously we would normally be pressing on to the fittings with the stainless steel caps on but for purposes of this video i'm going to show you i'm going to show you without it on as well it's just so you understand so you can understand what the fitting is and how it works so let's have a closer look at this fitting now If we look on the fitting, that's your fitting. That's how you'll normally get the fitting. But I've taken this fitting apart and we've got a double O-ring on there. Just take one of them off. So it's got a double O-ring on the fitting, but it's also got some grooves on there. And they're like sort of like non-return style grooves so that when you push the pipe in they wouldn't come back out obviously you wouldn't just push it in and leave it on we need to press for it we need to press it on and these are high quality brass fittings so you know that you you put in you're installing quality quality into the property when we've got us fit in what we need to do, we get a edge, so we get a edge that we've rounded off and prepared, and we just push the fitting on. And as we push the fitting on, we make sure that it's gone all the way in, all the way, so we can see the white on the inside. If we have a look at this. That would be like that inside the fitting and then we're going to crimp the stainless steel collar over the top of there so now what we'll do is we'll have a um, we'll have a look at the jaws that we use with this and i'll show you how to crimp this onto the pipe if you're going to use press fit then you need to make sure that you get the right the right jaws for the right fittings and what i'd suggest you do if you have a look on the manufacturer's website of the fitting that you're going to be using and see which jaws they require these fittings require a th jaw there's also other jaws that you can use as well so if you have a look on on the website 
it'll tell you which jaws that you can use as well. So we've got a press gun. This is the REMS. This is the REMS mini press. Just put us jaws in. We've got a piece of pipe. Let's take that back off again. So we've cleaned the pipe up. We've got the fitting, the collars on correctly. It's all on. Push that on. We've checked that it's fully home because it's got the, the white there. We get the jaws. You see that part, that grey part there? We open the jaws and in the jaws that goes in to there. So I don't know if you can see. So that's in in that lip there so that we know the jaw is now on correctly and then all we need to do then is just press once you wear that like that bang that means that it's it's done it's correctly it's um you've pressed it correctly and then now you can see that that's fully on So that's how you would press onto the MLCP PEX, PEX pipe, the multi-layer pipe. We'll have, a, we'll have a quick look at the guns now and I'll also show you, um, I'll show you some copper, um, some copper press fitting as well. I get a lot of questions on my videos about press fitting. Um, so yeah, so let, let's have a look at some of the copper ones now. If you're going to use press fit on copper pipe, Again, we've got a Z-ring inside. We'd cut, cut us pipe as normal. And then I use the Hilti, Hilti press gun. There's lots of different press guns. Um, the Milwaukee uh, 12 volt one, I found to be the best that I've used, to be honest, for domestic. Um, but I've got this one now, I've got this on a lace with with Hilti, so there's not no I can do about it for now. Um, and again, check that you've got the right jaws for the fittings that you're gonna use. So that's somewhat just to double check. When Hilti first came out, Hilti brought a different jaw to this and they told me it would work on my fittings. And when we checked, they were actually wrong. Um, it was the wrong jaws. So just double check that if a salesperson tells you um, about the jaws, just double check that the jaws are the right jaws for the fittings and again with this we'd just put the fittings in and we'd press i've got the 15 mil jaws for purposes of this video i'm not going to go get many other jaws um and these are fittings are 22 um but I, i've shown you how to press with earlier on in the video and it's just the same and I, i've got other videos with how to press on copper as well um if you're going to use the mlcp pex pipe or the pex PEX plumbing system so if you didn't if you don't have a blow lamp or you don't want to use a blow lamp and you want um, no heat you know you don't want to use heat then you could press the copper directly onto the fittings for the MLCP PEX piping so you wouldn't need to use uh, any flux or solder in your system at all uh, which which I think is a major major benefit to be honest I wish we could use this sort of pipe. Um, I know across Europe, um, PEX pipe and MLCP pipe is, is what they use. A lot of the people that's come here uh, to work from, from European countries, they are, they're very used to this sort of pipe work. So, so yeah, um, we'll have another, another little quick overview of the, of the fittings, but that's more or less it really. So just just one thing, the fitting where you connect it to that, um, to copper, you need to make sure you get the correct fitting for that, which is one of them with tails. But again, you just buy, so you'd buy, you'd buy quite a few of these. Um, and that, that's it really, that, that's how you to press, uh, how you would press um, MLCP. If you like my videos, please click up there somewhere and subscribe. If you click on this side, there'll be an underfloor heating um, video. And then down here, there'll be some other 
other videos as well i'm not sure which ones are going to be down here but yeah there'll be some more videos to click on to so yeah thanks for watching